as someone who tends to get stuck in certain emotions or has a hard time moving through feelings, I want to share something that I've learned to help me mentally and emotionally process my feelings. So this is a video on how to process your feelings, especially when you're triggered by something somebody else does. So when you're experiencing a trigger, somebody saying something, doing something to you that hurts you, that bothers you, you're not only experiencing that emotion in that moment, you're experiencing that feeling every time that you've ever felt that way from early childhood, from your earliest subconscious memories, you're feeling that same feeling, whatever's coming up, anger, hurt, rejection, sadness, abandonment, whatever. It's not the first time you're experiencing that similar feeling. That is why triggers feel so strong. However, when somebody does or says something that hurts us, the feeling we're experiencing is real. Whatever we're feeling, we have to validate that feeling. However, we also have to understand that there's a certain limiting belief or a mindset that we have that validates that experience and that feeling to be even stronger. Let me explain. So when somebody does something that makes us feel rejected or unheard, it validates this already programmed subconscious thought or belief that we formed in childhood, maybe from our parents, that we our, our voices don't hold power, that we aren't worthy of being heard, or that we shouldn't have said anything anyway because we were already going to be rejected or ignored or dismissed, whatever. So you have to understand that even though somebody else did trigger you or bring up this trigger, they are not the one who created the wound. Therefore, since they are not the one who created the wound, they are not the one that is going to help you move through that feeling and, you know, release that emotion and, and move forward and not be stuck in it for so long. And this is where we can easily form grudges against people because we say, okay, they hurt me, they triggered me, and then we just leave it there and then we're stuck in that energy and we hold on to it. Because getting triggered by somebody and then just leaving it there and saying, well, they hurt me, they did this to me, whatever, Yes, it validates that they hurt you, which it, they, it should you should validate that. But at the same time, it leaves you stuck. It leaves you stuck because it's telling your mind that you need something from them in order to let go of that feeling. You need this validation or you need this apology or you need <clears throat> some type of reassurance that then allows you to move past this feeling. And that is the part where we need to do the inner work because we cannot control anybody else. We cannot wait for anybody else to help us move through our emotions. And from childhood, if your parents didn't teach you how to self-soothe or how to process your feelings or how to sit with them, even if they were the ones that hurt you, it's really hard now as an adult in your relationships to figure out how to move through these feelings. So what's been helping me is like a two-step process, right? The first step is, yes, I recognize that somebody has hurt me or done something that has triggered me, has brought up an emotion that is strong or that I don't like. That's the first part. I accept that they have brought this up in me. But I don't just leave it there because then all of my anger goes towards that person and there is no self-reflection on my part, even though I'm not the one who created it. So after recognizing that, I turn back towards me. What belief about myself is this person triggering in me? Is it that I'm unworthy of something or I'm ignored, I'm dismissed, I'm, I'm going to be abandoned or I'm not good enough? What is the belief I have that it is bringing up in me or maybe even where this started? You know, it can just just reflecting on what is this saying about me when somebody else triggers a really strong reaction in me or brings up something that makes me feel like eh, I don't want to be bothered with it, annoyed, whatever strong emotion it is. It is a reflection of myself, something about me, something going on in my mind or maybe something I lack, maybe something I want. There's something inside that you need to just look at. Because at the end of the day, yes, people do trigger you, but it is up to you to work through your own emotions. Everybody has to be responsible for their own emotions. So allowing people to just trigger you and just saying, well, they did this and they did this and they did this and they hurt me and this, 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 you'll be triggered all day long. You'll be feeling all day long because people are always going to be doing and saying things that hurt you. Now, with that in mind, you also take it a step further where you're like, you do not have to allow someone else's behavior to continue to ignite this certain story that you have about yourself. So if that story is that you're unheard or you're always going to be ignored or whatever, changing that, that frame of thinking saying, although I feel right now ignored and dismissed, that does not mean that I personally am invalid in any way. So separating your feelings from the facts of who you are and practicing that when it's happening in real time is going to be what helps you. Also, I want you to keep in mind that 
even though somebody triggers us, it doesn't mean that they are intentionally trying to trigger you. Remember that. Sometimes people say things or do things are not trying to hurt us, even though they do. Other times people are trying to hurt us. So it's important to know the differences because sometimes you may perceive something as a rejection or abandonment or invalidation, and it's not, okay? But sometimes it is. So that's discernment is really key there. So all that to say is like really breaking things down in a gray area. When it comes down to your feelings, it's not very black or white, all right? When you try to make it black or white, this or that, they hurt me, I'm right, they're wrong, you're going to get stuck, all right? You have to allow those gray areas to be there and allow multiple things to be true at once. Yes, they hurt me. Yes, they made me feel like this. But at the same time, some belief I'm holding on to is keeping me stuck on this feeling or stuck on how they hurt me or validating some truth I believe about myself. And that is what I need to work on because I can't change them.